that this investiture ceremony is being live streamed. The young learners of grades one, two, and three can see the ceremony from their classes as it takes place. But before the installation ceremony formally begins, I request Mrs. Nair, junior school principal, Mrs. Sarveya, senior school principal, Mr. Koshik Datta, the general manager of our school, and Mrs. Chowdhury, junior school section head, to please come forward to the dais and light the lamp of knowledge and wisdom on this auspicious occasion. Please come forward. To make this ceremony even more memorable, a young pianist, Shivam Timatsinga, will play Ananda Loke, Mongol Aloke. In the world of happiness, in the world of blessedness, dwell truth and beauty. So now, boys and girls, the lamp is being lit. And how beautiful it's looking with the marigold flowers. Thank you very much. And thank you, Shivam. That was indeed very beautiful and befitting for this lovely ritual. It is my great honor and privilege to request our esteemed junior school principal to kindly come forward and address Junior the gathering teachers group. on this email memorable email, email. occasion. Yes, we just wait for a little while so that the flowers can be kept on one side. Please come up, Mrs. Nair. Thank you, Mrs. Marva. And a very, very good morning, dear students. Good morning, teachers. Good morning. Good morning. Okay. I can see smiling faces, beaming faces, happiness, wonderful. On behalf of the teachers of the junior section, I extend a very warm welcome to our senior school principal, Mrs. Sarvaya, our general manager, Mr. Kaushik Katta, all the section heads, the deputy IBDP coordinator, all our academic heads, house masters, mistresses, our games teachers, our school head boy, the office bearers of the senior school student council, and my dear beloved students. Today is a very significant day in our school calendar as it is the beginning of a journey of a group of young students 
who have been bestowed with the mantle of responsibility of the school student leadership council. My dear members of the newly appointed student council, pupils and teachers, our school believes in a dream and lives every day making that dream come true. And what is that dream? The dream is to nurture the best of talents and skills in all our students and to give them an opportunity to showcase the best of their traits in the school and beyond. Whether it is in the classroom or in the library or in the playground, the school is the laboratory to explore the best within each one of us, whether student or a teacher. Each one of us. Today, I feel a great sense of pride and achievement when I witness the members of the Junior Student Council come up and take their oaths to fulfill the duties expected of them as representatives of the students of the Junior School. Dear students, my heartiest congratulations to each one of you. Remember that each one of you is a torchbearer of the best the school has to offer in terms of the life, in terms of the skills, traits, and values. Your post will expect you to be patient, resourceful, and methodic. It will also require you to be compassionate, helpful, and sensitive to the needs of the students who have in invested their trust in each one of you. Stand by what is right. Never give in to temptation of being partial with friends and be the bridge that connects the teachers with the students. The most important quality a good leader should have is integrity in all that you say and do. Being a good leader is about respect for others and it is something we all need to reflect from time to time. Qualities of fairness, loyalty, honesty, tolerance, courage, and good listening skills are important, and these must reflect in your actions and words. Also, please remember, it is important you work in a collaborative and respectful manner with members of the Student Council of the Senior School for the Welfare of all the students of the CIS community. You have been entrusted with the responsibility of all the students in the junior section, and the teachers are all there to guide you, as am I. So do your duty and do it well. We know you can. Wishing the new council every success, we have the confidence in each one of you to fulfill your duties in an exemplary manner and make us proud of you. God bless each one of you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Nair, for your words of wisdom, encouragement, and for your good wishes. We could see that each and every one of the children was listening raptly and intently and imbibing what you said to them. Thank you. And now it is my great honor to invite Mrs. Sarvaya, principal of the senior school, to share her thoughts with all present here today. Mrs. Sarvaya. Good morning, everyone. Thank you, students. I'd like to start by congratulating the student council of the junior school. To achieve this is something that you should be very, very proud of because it shows that your teachers think that you have the qualities to be a leader. So I'm sure you'll do a very good job and congratulations once again. What does it mean to be a leader? I want you to think about that, all of you, for one second. What does it mean to be a leader?
to be a leader means that you have the ability to guide you have the ability to help your classmates understand the right path so it's a very very important position but i want to say something to all of you who are not on the students council you are all also leaders each one of us can be a leader in different ways so the student council is like the official leadership but each one of you can be a leader in something some of you can be a leader in showing your class how to be kind others can be a leader in showing how to keep a clean environment somebody can be a leader in making others in the class feel welcome so each one of you has a special quality that will help you be a leader in some way or another so whether you are on the student council or not i want you all to think about what is that quality inside you that will help each one of you be a good leader because it's not only about the leaders it's about all of us together and all of us together if we think about our best qualities if we focus on what is good inside us that is the way we will make the school a better place and we will make the whole world a better place so today when you have some time i want you to think what do you have inside of you that makes you a leader and the student council when you are exercising your position think about how you can help everybody bring out the best in themselves thank you so much thank you very much mrs sarveya for those very very meaningful and thoughtful words but and for sharing your thoughts with all here present today leadership is very important but helping others is no less important a very important message mrs sarveya and thank you and now we come to a very important part the presentation of the badges to the three house captains of green house red house and yellow house by mrs nair i would request mrs nair to please come up once the children they are ready standing there proudly holding their flags firmly straight the members of the new junior student council are ready to take on their roles and responsibilities with me ladies and gentlemen boys and girls it is our happiness and pride to welcome the three captains to accept their badges as a token of their new responsibilities and mrs nair is here on the dais please come forward greenhouse captain vedang shah red house captain behind by raja and yellow house captain priyank jain balse standing ready you can see them proudly placing their flags and coming forward congratulations that we have been presented presented with a badge now red house captain and raja will come forward <laughs> taking on the mantle of the new responsibilities now proudly holding the flag and placing it before he comes forward to mrs nair that is kayan raja captain red up Congratulations. And now you can see smartly marching forward 
Yellow House Café, the Angel Person. He's placing the flag very proudly before he marches forward to Mrs. Mahal. Congratulations. So now they have got their badges very proudly. They are wearing their badges. Thank you, Mrs. Nair. And of course, thank you, Mrs. Roy and Mrs. Tanaji for helping in this process. Very proud moment. They're ready to take on. You can see them standing straight, absolutely straight, and looking ahead to the I would now like to request Mrs. Sarveya, Senior School Principal, to please come to the dais and present the badge to the Greenhouse Vice Captain, Virin Chakrabarti. We all know that captains are there, but they need their vice captains to help them through the year. They cannot work alone. So here you can see vigorously marching forward, vigorous Virin, and he's so happy, all smiles. And he is going to be presented the batch of Vice Captain Greenhouse by Mrs. Sarveya. Thank you, Mrs. Sarveya. Congratulations, Vidin. And now I would like to request the Vice Captain of Red House, Rajvi Anand, to please come forward. And I would like to request Mr. Dutta to please come forward and present the batch to Red House Vice Captain Rajveer Anand. A very proud moment for Rajveer. Thank you, Mrs. Roy. Thank you, Mr. Dutta. So, Rajveer standing straight. And Warmly being congratulated and wished by Mr. Datta. Congratulations, Rajvi. Thank you very much, Mr. Datta. I would like to request our dear Mrs. Chowdhury, Junior School Section Head, to now please come to the dais and sorry, dais and present the badge to Yellow House Vice Captain Shivan Himat Singh. Do we all have heard playing the piano a little while ago? And now he's marching forward very, very smartly to be presented the badge of Vice Captain Yellow House by Mrs. Chowdhury. Thank you, Mrs. Chowdhury. Thank you, Mrs. Banerjee. So now you have the House Captains and the Vice Captains standing proudly before you. A very important part of any investiture ceremony is the formal taking of the oath, the promise to serve honestly and in allegiance. It is my humble, it is my request to Mrs. Nair to please come forward to administer the oath of office to the house captains of the three houses. Please come forward, Mrs. Nair, and the vice captains. In a spirit of cooperation, in 
international law cooperation, equality and peace. Equality and peace. I pledge to never bring disgrace. I pledge to never bring disgrace on my house. On my house by any act of dishonesty. By any act of dishonesty and cowardice. And cowardice. I pledge to revere. I pledge to revere and obey the goals of my house. And, and obey the goals of my house and to work hard. And to work hard. To foster reverence, to foster reverence and obedience, and obedience in all those, in all those around us, around us. I pledge to remain true. I pledge to remain true in thought, in thought, speech and action, speech and action, as in truth, as in truth lies our strength, lies our strength. By taking this pledge, by taking this pledge, I affirm my commitment. I affirm my commitment to the rules and principles, to the rules and principles of conduct and character, of conduct and character as set out by Calcutta International School. As set out by Calcutta International School. Thank you very much, Mrs. Gaya. A very solemn moment, a serious moment. And we could see all the house captains and vice captains internalizing the words of the pledge, which they have promised to uphold in their tenure and perhaps even beyond that. I would now like to request uh, Prithvira Chunjunwala to please come forward to administer the oath to the <laughs> vice captains of the three houses. I think they have already administered their oath, but Prithviraj, it's good to see you. Yes, please. And you can see all the students are looking very, very, you know, staunchly at you, very <laughs> admiringly at you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you have seen the investiture of and solemn oath taking and affirmation of their vows by the junior captains and vice captains of the three houses administered by Mrs. Nair. It has been completed. It is now time to sweeten this memorable moment with the sound of music. We present before you a piano recital by Shivam Himat Singha. He will play a piece, Remembrance by Maria Misford. That was so melodious and perfectly played. A round of applause, yes, we have already clapped for Shivam. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now proceed with the next part of our investiture ceremony, which is a very important part, the presentation of the badges to the Green House, Red House, and Yellow House prefects by our various academic, different academic heads. 
I would like to request Mr. Surya Sukha Banerjee, he's, yes, sir, middle school section head. It is a very great privilege for us to call upon Mr. Surya Sukha Banerjee, middle school section head, to present the batch to the greenhouse prefect for grade five, Samatna Bhattan. And in this process, the students are also getting familiar with the faces in the, of teachers in the middle and senior school. Please come forward. Thank you, Mr. Banerjee. Thank you, Mrs. Ba Mrs. Banerjee. <laughs> There we have Sabarina who has been given the badge for the Greenhouse Prefect for Grade 5 by Mr. Surya Subhadanj. Congratulations, Sabarina. And now I would like to request Mrs. Devjani Sen, IGCSE head, to please come forward and present the badge to the Red House Prefect of Grade 5, Naisha Goenka. Naisha, please come forward. So we have a young girl here, so many boys, and now a girl. Very proud moment for Naisha, Red House Prefect from Grade 5, and she will be presented the badge by Mrs. Sen. And thank you, Mrs. Roy, for all your help. Congratulations, Naisha, and thank you, Mrs. Singh. So there we have Red House, Green House, and Red House prefects of grade five. The presentation of the badge to Yellow House prefect grade five will be by Mrs. Shushmita Mukherjee, senior school section head. It is a very great pleasure to call upon Mrs. Shushmita Mukherjee, senior school section head, to present the house to Yellow House prefect Pradna Karun. These are all our young students who will be going to you in the forthcoming years. Pradna, look at it this side. <laughs> Thank you, Mrs. Mukherjee. Thank you, Mrs. Banerjee. And congratulations to Pradna. So, we have the three prefects of grade five standing before you, and so well placed, exactly proportionately, right in front. <laughs> perfect placements for perfect prefects. Thank you very much. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to proceed with the next part of the investiture ceremony, the presentation of the badges to the junior prefects from grade four who are waiting there so eagerly, waiting to come forward. You can see them eagerly standing there. The junior prefects from grade four of the three houses by their respective house masters and mistresses of green, red, and yellow house. Ladies and gentlemen, before these young leaders come up, these house, the house mistresses and masters have helped in the nomination and selection process meticulously and guided these young leaders to develop leadership and other skills and motivated the house members throughout to learn and take up responsibilities. And it is because of the hard work of the house masters and mistresses of green, red and yellow house that we can see these children so confidently coming up today to take up their responsibilities in this, on this formal occasion. I would presentation of badge of the batch, the Greenhouse Junior Prefect of Grace, Grade 4 will be by none other than Mr. Bose and Mrs. Single, Greenhouse Master and Mistress. Please come forward, Mrs. Single, Mrs. Bose, and present the badges to Vera Junjunwala and Viha Gonga, Greenhouse Prefects of Grade 4. Can you see them? Marching up so sweetly, so smartly. Thank you, Mrs. Roy. Thank you, Mrs. Singham.
And Mr. Bose, anything dramatic in your gestures today? <laughs> I don't think Mr. Bose is not going to do anything dramatic today. Sir. Yes. Thank you very much, Mr. Bose, Mrs. Singh. Thank you, teachers. And now for the presentation of the badge, badges to Red House Junior Prefect of Grade 4 by Mr. Barthan and Mrs. Ahuja. Red House Master and Mistress worked so hard through these weeks and months to guide and motivate the children in every way. Please come forward. Ishe Junjunpala and Devisha Kedri to receive your badges from Mrs. Ahuja and Mr. Barthan, the proud house mistress, with master and mistress of Red House. Thank you, Mrs. Banerjee. Divisha, your headband is sparkling as much as your smile. <laughs> Very pretty. Yes. Thank you, Mrs. Akuta. Mr. Bhattan. Congratulations. A very, very proud moment for the young prefects of grade four. And now I would request Mrs. Ray and Mrs. Das. There are two house mistresses, no house master here. Yes. <laughs> to please come forward and present the badges to two junior prefects from grade four from Yellow House. Zara Senguta and Mokshalani waiting to come forward. Mr. Sinha is just trying to tell them, hold your horses, hold your horses, your time is also coming. <laughs> Please come forward, children. This is me, this is Mrs. Children, have you seen your housemasters and mistresses have come dressed exactly in the colors required today? All well chosen saris, well chosen outfits. Yes. <laughs> Setting the color for the day for your house. Thank you very much, Mrs. Das. Mrs. Das is coming forward to present the badge to Moksh. And thank you, Mrs. Dante and Mrs. Roy for all your help and support without which the presentation couldn't have taken place. Congratulations to all the perfect prefects of grade 5 and 4 assembled in front of you, standing so straight. And this completes our team of young leaders. Thank you very much. And now, I would like to request Dr. And Mrs. Runa Audi, our IBDP Deputy Coordinator, to please come forward and administer the oath to the prefects. It is a great privilege to have you here, Dr. Audi. And now, these children before you will formally take their oath and promise to follow every pledge that they utter today in front of you. Dr. Audi. We solemnly swear that we will respect and support that we will respect and support the vision and mission of our school the vision and mission of our school and faithfully serve our house and faithfully serve our house in a spirit of cooperation in a spirit of cooperation equality and peace equality and peace we pledge to never we pledge to never bring disgrace on our house Disgrace on our house by any act of dishonesty and cowardice. By any act of dishonesty and cowardice. By taking this pledge. By taking this pledge. We affirm our commitment. We affirm our commitment to the rules and principles. To the rules and principles of conduct. Of conduct and character. And character 
as set out by Calcutta International School. As set out by Calcutta International School. So thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Hoti. And uh, you could see these children imbibing, internalizing, reiterating every word of the pledge which they are going to keep up and they're going to follow through their 10 years. Thank you, Dr. Hoti. I would now like to call the Greenhouse Captain, Adora Liu, Red House Vice Captain, Yash Bakchi and Hassan Bey, Captain Yellow House, to please come and stand with our young leaders here of the junior school. Please come forward. Please stand next to your house leaders. Yes. There we have, we have Adora Liu, we have Yash Bakchi. And we have Hassan Bey. Okay. So they are going to stand with the young leaders of the junior school. Come closer. Well done, Hassan. What a wonderful assembly, so bright and colorful right in front of you. Congratulations. So Adora, Yash and Hassan, how does it feel to be standing here? We were in this class a few years ago, isn't it? Yes. So it's a very proud moment. And this almost completes our investiture ceremony. But before anything else, I would like to request our school head, Prithiraj, to please come forward and address the gathering here today. Come Prithiraj. Standard. So, firstly, before I begin, good morning to everyone. A, a huge congratulations to all the office bearers. And it's actually a huge deal to be part of the council and serve the school, namely the teachers and your peers. So, huge congratulations to you all. Now, but honestly, when I stand here in front of all of you all, I cannot help but actually recollect memories of when I was your age. I think all my teachers would agree I was the most mischievous student in class. <laughs> and and to fun as Mrs. Naya would place it. Like when I still go to a few of my older teachers, they still look at me and talk about how naughty I was in class. So um, when I stand in front of you all, I'm a bit overwhelmed because I I when I was your age again, I would see my seniors come up to me and give motivational speeches. And I would idolize them. I would set them as like the ideal example of ideal students. And I thought I could never be them. But honestly, trust me when I say this, if you make up your mind and want something with your whole heart, you can achieve it. And you can achieve whatever you want and desire. Okay, look at the biggest of your goals, the biggest of your dreams. Trust me, it's very easily okay. achievable if you are determined and keep working towards it. Right now, your main goal might be to get that full marks in your maths test or to get the role <laughs> in your drama skit. But as you grow, your, so will your goals. And whatever they are, just remember, my one suggestion is follow them and pursue them to the best of your capabilities and give your 100%. Now, I, I heard a story one long time back and I will forever remember it. It's about this boy and his horse. So the boy was lost in the jungle in the dark and couldn't, was confused where to go. So he said to his horse, I can't see a way through. To which the horse replied, can you at least see your next step? When the boy replied, yes, 
the horse said, just take that. It's the small step which matters and the extra, it's the, the, the just the current step which you take. The extra five minutes which you paid attention in class, even when you were tired, the homework which you submitted, even when you didn't want to, or the question you asked your teacher to clarify your doubt, it's, it's all those small steps which will add up and make a huge change in future when you look back at it. And I know there'll be obstacles in your way, but you need to face them head on and overcome them. Because once again, when I say this, trust me, obstacles are the only thing which make you stronger. And they aren't obstacles, but actually stepping stones, which help you grow and become better. So I think that is all that I have to tell you all. To the council, I will say, be positive, come up with many ideas. And remember, most importantly, you represent the student body. So always be available for them and be the bridge that they might be whenever they need it. I think I speak for the entire senior school student council team as well when I say we look forward to working with, with you all and let's make a positive change in the school for the better. Well, Thank you. Oh. Thank you very much, Prithviraj. And uh, you, you could see all the young leaders hanging on, if I may use this term, to every word that you spoke and looking upon you for inspiration, for guidance and leadership as you spoke from your experiences, which are going to be very helpful for them. Thank you for that very, very motivational these motivational words to these young leaders, Prithviraj. They're going to remember your words for a long time. So how does it feel to be standing here, all of you? Good? Yes? Yes. <laughs> all right. This brings us to the close of the investiture ceremony. And I would like to thank on behalf of the junior section, Mrs. Nair, to whom I express on behalf of everyone a very deep, very deep gratitude to Mrs. Sarvaya, to Mr. Datta for their excellent guidance and support and being such good role models for all of us here. To Mrs. Devjani Sen, to Mr. Surya Subha Mukherjee, to Mrs. To Mrs. Devjani Sen. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> to Mr. Surya Subha Banerjee, Mrs. Shushmita Mukherjee, to Dr. Audi for gracing this occasion with their August presence and helping with the proceedings and for giving up their valuable time for the event. Mr. Surya, so am I forgiven for that small mistake? <laughs> <laughs> to Mrs. Chowdhury for meticulously planning the ceremony and for her constant help and support through weeks, day in and day out, sometimes even late at night. A call away to all the house pastors and mistresses for their motivation and inspiration for their planning for their meetings through weeks on end. To Mr. Samad and Mr. Sinha for their watchfulness, for holding the students, for sending them forward so with such precision for their guidelines and for their planning. Thank you. To Mr. Mukherjee for setting the tune for the day so beautifully here. To all the class teachers, subject teachers for their help and support in and out. Every moment we could see here how the class teachers were managing the students so beautifully. And of course, to the students for being such a good audience today. 99% you are a very good audience. And for listening to every word and for being so disciplined today. To the facilities team, the entire team for their meticulous arrangements without which this venue, this event would not have been possible. To Mr. Khan for his impeccable technical support and for making it possible to do live streaming of the event, which is something new and wonderful in the school. To all Arundhava, 
to all the gunners and of course the DDs who are not here but who've been working behind the scenes for their hard work at all hours. Deep, deep gratitude to everyone for your time, for your patience, for your encouragement and for your presence here. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings us to the successful close of the junior school, the junior student council investiture ceremony. And now there's something which is very important. We will all rise for the school song. Please rise for the school song. children can go to their classes. We request the council to please stay back and the children can go to their classes. Please. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. 